Okay, I'll accept the delegation. So, um, let's go. Okay. RN. What, what is RN? It's right now, sir. Oh, right now. I thought it was like Ruma Nyo Nyo or something like that. All right. Anyhow, let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look <laughs> at the at the OKRs. Uh, okay, we've uh, pivoted to a different direction now, so um, we're going to have to simultaneously change our OKRs uh, to align up with the new direction. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they are. Uh, ah. Okay, today. Hey, babe. Are you okay? Okay. All right, let's take a look at my OKR. So the theme has changed now uh, for March. We're going to take on uh, Agile Defense. Uh, defend against getting sick and defend against the company getting sick. So. Um, these leadership scores I will secondary prioritize, but I say my first priority right now is to keep the team healthy and keep the company healthy. So, uh, one, I don't want anyone getting sick from coronavirus, and two, we reach our revenue targets. So, I don't know if this is achievable, but uh, it is specific, it is measurable, um, it's relevant, it's timely. This would be a Time for project competency. This would be a time for uh, process excellence. We're doing new processes now. Um, and this would be a time for leadership excellence if we pull through. Okay, so um, we are in a new position. We're in a new direction where the company is going. And these, I think, are the highest priorities for the moment. Okay, so uh, very simple and also very powerful at the same time. Let's move to the next OKR. Let's go to Ara. Right. Okay. All right. What's your OKRs? Ah, right. still the old ones. Okay, sir. So it's um, yeah, I haven't actually updated, but the first OKR I'd like to actually postpone to next month, mm -hmm. most likely. So <laughs> uh, for this, uh, what is it? For this month, it would be. Yeah, just hiring and for the uh, sharpen the so that I still like to go to classes. My question for the my OKR would be like uh, about the hiring. Are we still go continue with the hiring due to coronavirus? Because I am I'm, I have two candidates for on site trials this month that already assigned since last month actually. What what roles are they applying for? Finance and online gas support. I think those are okay. Those we still need. Yeah. So finance, online guest support, you can continue. Um, you can continue hiring in those two categories. We'll still need both um, for the time being. I think we'll need quite, quite a number. Okay. All right. And that one just continue. Also, with. sir. Yeah. Um, if I may ask, so yesterday we have class for a persuasion delegation at five, right? Yeah. So is it possible to actually have it in somewhere in the afternoon or in the morning? Because I really want to join actually i think the next one is on friday it'll be in on the morning so come to that one okay sir Thank yeah you. Okay. watch the videos though then. watch uh watch yes. the videos yeah it'll be it'll be helpful okay 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 thank you all right next one sharpen the saw on uh bless you bless you i think what we need to work on are actually a little bit more development programs so like intern programs anything that's for a little bit into the future um, those are okay, uh, but but yeah, um, more. Yeah, let's make a call on this. Uh, finance, we need somebody on. Uh, finance is only risky right now. He's sick. On top of that, and then for uh, online guest support. Yeah, keep that keep that going. That one's going to be pretty essential as we come into this this uh, this particular season. And then the next one, sharpen the saw based on, okay. These uh, can be a lower priority, I think, at the moment. Um, we 
you can still, yeah, uh, handling difficulty, difficult people. I think we're going to have a lot of experience with that pretty soon. A difficult situation. So let's let's get that. And promotions, promotions are kind of paused right now. We need to uh, uh, really think about whether or not we have the whether there or not there's any uh, anything to promote. Um, I guess promotions can be awarded based on crisis management at the moment, but these these will be paused for for I, I don't know uh, until things get better. Okay. Okay. Then I think that's pretty much it for me. All right. Cool. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's go to Vita. Vita is okay. All right. Okay. But um, I'm gonna actually that's the this one for the membership one we're trying to do our um OPR still. So the others I'm gonna change. Okay. Um, um that I'm going to add is actually for the internship for the internship that we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, and also I'm planning to actually help with like the development placement or maybe the, the Okay. Okay. All right. At this point, um, let's on HR work on a few things. Let's work on actually keeping the company healthy. Um, uh, we need, as you can see, like like if people get sick here, then there's already services that, that start breaking down. So let's uh, let's make sure that people don't get sick. Let's make sure that they have somebody to talk to if they're worried about um, the virus. Let's give them direction. Give them inspiration. And uh, we can continue working on interns. That that part is something that, let's say, if things do get better, then at least we have uh, we have that program going for us. Uh, but otherwise, for hiring, I think we can slow down. Um, LinkedIn, we can still use the slots. We've already bought the slots, so those are active. Let's direct them towards interns uh, uh, positions that we might need. Let's say, uh, regardless whether or not we need interns, let's have interns here anyway. It'll be it, practice uh, for leadership at least. Okay, um, that is, okay, so we'll just wait for everybody's new affairs to come out. Um, let's see, all right, let's go back up to HR. Uh, all right, so those are OKRs in the first week of the month. On the rest, let's see, on old business. So this is all done, we just need to pivot Actually, we don't need psychology. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll uh, I'll delete that. And accounting, engineering. I think we're good on. We got enough from Meepa now. And okay, we'll uh, we'll approach Sumiyana next time we're in Jokja to ask about accounting. Okay, Nusadua. Yes. All right. So what do we got from Meepa? Um, the last time, I actually haven't contacted uh, in Bhutan yet. Okay. Uh, I want to, um, how do you say, like, list down first, like, based on our um, past university education, how many people that we've uh, set by the second one. So, I'll then have the last time I'm going to do that. I already get a number. Okay, great. Um, this one you can go full speed ahead. Let's slow down on that one. That one is uh, just the same as before. Okay. Next on, let's take a look at some new business. We got uh, STPBE. Okay, we talked about that. Ibu Trishna, yes, let's go to Ara. She said that we can come in sometime this week or next week, right? Yeah, but she didn't get back though. All right, let's follow up with because this one. She is the one that promising for rescheduling the time, but mm -hmm. she's not back yet, so I'm waiting for her though. Okay. Let's do this sooner. Uh, I still have a trip planned for the U.S. I gotta somehow get back to Indonesia by the twentieth. I gotta review my uh, uh, my Kitab is getting upgraded or something. So uh, the sooner we can do this, the more I can be involved. Otherwise, I'm gonna delegate to you guys. Yeah. So okay, um, June to December. Yeah. Let's let's try to get into this slot here. Uh, this is a good slot to have. Next socialization program next Friday. So was this today, today, uh, Ara, or this is from Bakhita? 
Oh no, that's basically the first messages that they send. But then because of the study tour that the students will have, so they need to reschedule actually. Okay, so it won't be on the 13th? No. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, next one. Ara, yes. The 2020 sponsorship speaker tech talk. Jury. Okay, so basically for the... Apa, um, I've asked the detail for the first, uh, the second, and the third type of sponsorship, which is speaker and speaker and the judge for the competitions. And then I asked to be more specific about the details on what are the interpretation that we are going to get as a company. So the the first person, which is Salma, that contacted me, the comedy of the event actually mengalihkan what is it uh, offer over offer me to another person. Um, the finance person. So um, I texted her and asking about the details of the contraptations, but they haven't get back yet. Uh, so far, I already talked to VD that most likely if we're going to speaker, there's a possibility that you or Bayou is going to be the speaker. VD said yes, though. So, um, yeah, just waiting for the comedy uh, to give me the details on what exactly we get from the particular event. Okay, got it. All right. Um, this is a pretty low budget event. This is not a lot of exertion on our side, and the possibility is is pretty good if we get more programmers, more software students. So let's keep this uh, let's keep this in play. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm secretary too now. I guess. So I'll move this all over to old business. Old business. And let's move all over all this over to old business. Okay. Let's Okay. That pretty much wraps up all our old and new business for Tuesday. Wow, that was really, really fast. Um, sure. Yes. Um, yeah, let's talk about Nippy. Actually, that's a good, good idea. Um, let's actually talk about not just that, but let's think about what HR can do too as well uh, during these times. This was a discussion that uh, that we had uh, yesterday at the end with uh, all the chapter leads and squad leads. So um, these are some things to focus on during this uh, uh, these trying times. I don't know what we call this, the, the COVID time. So um, let's see. One of the things that we thought was, uh, we can still focus on recruiting interns. Um, this keeps the, these are, uh, it's a low cost and it's a high leadership practice activity. So this part is, we can continue. Reducing anxiety at the company, um, and also perhaps also safety now. Um, uh, reducing health safety, reducing uh, mental anxiety. Okay. I think the, the risk is now getting more and more real um, that anybody could actually get this. Uh, let's just try to be as defensive as possible on keeping uh, everyone healthy and also keeping us mentally healthy. The, the levels of concern are, I don't know, it's almost like a, it's almost like September 11th now for me. People are really, really uh, scared. So, um, that is a focus that HR can work on. The other, point, yes. <laughs> Are reducing health risk. Okay. Yes. So whatever it means in terms of best practices, uh, food hygiene, personal hygiene, all that, reducing transmission. Let's work on that. Um, raising the ESS scores now, I think, is a good time to work on that because there's, there's open bandwidth that we don't have to do our recruiting, so let's focus it inwards on getting, uh, 
getting employee satisfaction higher, and then putting, putting people in the right focus. So we got some people, let's say, for example, Tris and also Vena. Um, what should they focus on? Um, what should people who, let's say, like us, what should we focus on if we have family um, opened up? There's a ton of inquiries in boxes where there's people like who are freaking out right now about what to do. So currently, uh, we don't have anybody even answering these right now. It's 10.30. So maybe all of us need to approach this um, collectively instead of just waiting for whoever is supposed to cover this account um, to focus on it. Okay, so we really need to think about how, how this, uh, this part works. Um, so let's talk about Nippy. Okay, traditionally we've always had a Nippy where we got everyone. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Any questions? Yeah, my question is about healthy and safety. How is that exactly we're going to be improving that in the company for a current situation? Well, there's not too much we can do. Um, it's mainly just keep your hands clean. Uh, maybe wipe down your 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 controls. I I, I really don't know. Um, I would say just take the only thing you can do to stop the flu is probably I don't know avoid coming to people with the flu, right? But now that we know that this has gone everywhere, uh, let me open it up to the floor. Does anybody have any ideas? Mm, I thought, um, for example, in Jogja. I already tell everyone that if you're sick, it's better to stay home, like working remotely. So it's like very flexible for the current situation. If you are catching cold and everything, just stay at home. Like Rizal, for example, Rizal been sick for a few days, and then I told her, I told him that you you can stay at home actually if you're feeling sick, rather than like you know, um, it's pretty contagious with this apa um, situation right now that people easily get sick. So rather than you. Uh, what is it menularkan contagious contagious at others by that so better to stay at home okay all right that's one and then Vito okay. like I was thinking I mean yes it's kind of hard to find new hand sanitizer but so I mean I can help you find it okay if you can help find uh, bring hand sanitizer in and just have like a nice squeeze bottle or just have a pump of alcohol which is pretty much the same thing. Um, anything that helps sanitize, I think, would be a little bit better. It's mostly psychological at this point because, I don't know, when a flu comes, you get the flu, right? It's just sort of like, uh, I don't know, just uh, let's do our best. Mostly the danger is psychological uh, rather than physical. We all know that it has a pretty low lethality rate and it has probably a lower rate amongst people our ages too as well. But the the psychological fear of it is much worse than, it's kind of like a final exam. It doesn't really kill you, but it makes you feel like dread. Okay, anyhow, um, we'll do what we can do. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know. Sort of, maybe that's why there's so much anxiety. It's like what you really do. All right, uh, let's, uh, Let's move forward. Right. Nippy. <laughs> Nippy is a condition where we're all locked together in a room. So, yeah. Uh, for a few reasons, um, I think well, maybe we can have a distributed Nippy. Uh, Nippy is something we always did together. It's always been very meaningful. Um, let's see. There's a few villas right now that have been marked as open. And they won't be very expensive, so we forget them. But I don't know. Let's uh, let's say we do have Nippy. How? What do you think the attendance would be? Uh, Actually, some people are already saying that they are going to come to Okay. All right. If it's 10 to 15 people, then maybe we just get Villa Bahagia again. And then we do it like the way we did last year. Uh, so we get everyone. It's usually pretty fun, pretty meaningful. Uh, and it's, it's, but we, we would need to get minimum numbers. 
Bahagia is actually pretty easy because uh, it's right next door and there's a lot of logistics to it. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we can do Bahagia. That's what we can let's say, budget range and such. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Last year we had uh, cooking. Yeah, what did we have last year? We had cooking, we had uh, we had pool jumping, we had uh, guitar, I don't know, we just sort of hung out. You're gonna go to the couple? Sure? Oh I think all right. Why don't we just have it open and whoever wants to use it, use it. So we'll get into the Bahagia and then it'll be self organized. Yeah. So if you want to have it, yeah. So is it like two nights? Yeah, two nights, yeah. So it's better not to have it at all. That's the way I'm nurturing culture now. No, no. It's Which city was that? Well, I mean, you gotta leave, right? In order to nurture the culture. Yeah, I understand that. Oh yeah, uh, there's all the logistics. I think it's meaningful to have it do, especially during these times, right? It's like a, uh, it's, it's, it's something that we've always done. And for one point, you're like, ah, eh, well, man, mediocre. It starts at the top, right? If you go into the culture from the top, then how's, how's that going to happen? I'd say we should still have a movie. I think that's still beautiful. Um, but we need to know, like, yeah, she's kind of right. Sometimes it literally deteriorates into this. It just becomes a, becomes a smoke festival, right? And it's, it's not really meaningful. Yeah, and I don't know why I've been so stressed for like, I said, well, hey, guys, you want it. No, it's more for like this psychological stuff, right? Yeah, like, 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 can fit everybody in one house anyway, right? What is this here that we get and then we can expect to feel like it is? What is your idea? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, even the fact that it is going to be right, so if we gather together, it might be like one person, but we need to come as well. Okay, if we don't go in with enough, like, let's say, momentum, it's better not that we don't do it. Do you think we have enough momentum going into it right now? Enough people want to do it. Okay. All right, let's just skip it then. Uh, so we won't have Nippy this year. 
Okay, yeah. Let's get everyone together to do a. <laughs> Let's say I've seen change. We'll give it a plus of place in here. But no plans for now. Or I'll like him to ask her who are people who's staying. Yeah, who's interested? Otherwise, it's it's short sense less. Okay. Um it would be kind of cool to have a good nippy though, like a kind of a meaningful half Well, let's let's do something here. I want to go to the hood. Boring as fuck. I mean not in the village. I just I just want to be like because normally she takes the majority of the logistics of it. Okay. All right. So that's that's Nippy. Nippy is a no go. Um, this is that we will not do Nippy unless something changes last minute. But we will do O Go Go. We'll all go together to see the Pachacho O Go Go. Let's see. All right. Where are you going to be? You're going to be a graduate, right? Um, yeah, what date is the is that being a piece? Oh, okay. Graduating in May. You all graduate in May. Okay. Wow, you're gonna graduate yeah, into the, a recession. The... <laughs> you're gonna be doomed. <laughs> yeah, but, but what is it? Um, the the test is going to be this month, but the graduation ceremony going to be in May. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, any other? Celebrations. Also, uh, Biden's birth, uh, yeah. birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot. I think it's this one. I guess we can celebrate. It's kind of senseless to celebrate somebody's anniversary who's about to leave, right? But yeah, yeah let's do that then. Yeah, let's do a little farewell on a birthday at the end of the month. After Nippy. Before the end of the month? Yeah. Like, nippy is really close to the end of the month. True. Okay. So, post Nippy, let's do the celebration for everyone's birthday. Yeah. And uh, nobody's farewell. Okay. That is pretty much it. Oh, what? What? Why don't you hire, sorry, why don't you hire a GoPni? You have a GoPni, sir? Okay. Sir, I want to ask actually, but, um, Oh, right, so we talked with Bayou. Dan is on essentially a milestone basis again. So he will be working freelance, um, but not as a full time employee. Um, so, who, sir? What? This is about Dan, the programmer. Okay. Whatever Buddy thinks is appropriate for that, um, I I really just you know, I don't have really anything about that. Um, so if if Buddy gets clear to okay, I'm okay with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Any good news today? Any any sort of positive world news happening? Let's go say what's going on. I'm afraid to go to the news now. It's like some new, like dreary shit. Uh, 
let's see. We're going to have elections in the U.S. That'll be awesome. Have a new president soon. I don't know. Hey, you're in a car now. Yeah, oh I'm moving into another faculty. I thought I thought we took up the hour. Wow, this is the slowest running HR sync up ever. Okay. All right. Uh, stock markets went back up again. That's good. Okay. Oil prices are going down. And uh, okay. I don't know. Tsunami of patience. I just had Hey, hey, check this out. This is pretty funny. It's funny or tragic. I'm not sure what, what, what you would interpret it as. But check. Have you guys seen the inboxes lately? No, 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 no. The, uh, the inboxes for inquiries. Yeah. They're pretty interesting. Let me show you some of these, uh, these emails that we just saw. Oh, we should probably write up all the rest of the LinkedIn slots there. Okay. What are we going to do? Intern for contact, intern for business development, intern for uh, everything, essentially. Yeah. It's mainly to also get some practice leading so that uh, it's almost like we're just doing training right now. For what happens after. Okay, anyways, yeah, like every message in the inbox today for Jing and Wyana was related to coronavirus. It was like, I'm in the middle of the coronavirus hot zone. I need to cancel. <laughs> uh, there was this Italian lady who wrote that. It was pretty, pretty funny. And then the other ones are like, yeah, all COVID 19 things. Pretty intense. Pretty yeah, intense. mine's so cheap. Like, when you sold, come to paradise, I'll be Twenty bucks to fly to Seoul. Really? On on which airline? Air Asia. Time to go travel the world. Go visit a hot zone. You guys ready? Let's do some like dark tourism. I want to see a place where coronavirus is at the peak. Um, yeah. Moderate to South Korea. Because nobody wants to go to South Korea, right? You're dead. Oh, oh yeah, let's. I want to go to fly to Wuhan, where the whoop whoop is at. I heard that you said, um, South Korea are burning their money because they they think that um, the money is like the physical money. It's actually that's Could be, because the virus stays around for a few like moments after you touch something. So, uh, all right. We're going to take a look at uh, Jakarta 2. Oh. I'm going to show you how much actually the plane ticket could actually cost. Well, oil prices are going down, so that's good. That's probably a uh, area you throw down. But still, very affordable. One million to fly to Korea. Get my Gangnam style. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, but actually, sir, I, I checked like flights from here and there, for example, to many destinations. It's actually not cheaper, though. Like, can you give me an example? Like into Dubai. I mean, they have cases of coronavirus too, but it's not cheaper. Um, the cheaper one to Korea, yes, it is true. To Singapore, it's just within this month that is cheap, but next month is already high again. Okay, let's so check. I'm not sure yeah, why. Uh, I checked on Traveloka though, yes. Okay, let's take a look and see what's happening. So that's a good sign. If, if plane tickets are getting more expensive in, um, we're looking at inbound plane tickets into Bali. So when those Traveloka probably wouldn't be the place where you would get inbound to get. Um, how many, many foreigners would use Traveloka? Yeah, yeah, it's for outbound. Yeah. Skyscanner. Okay. So if you look at Skyscanner. Ah, Scanner. Corona. 
Corona. Wait, you guys now have a generational crisis. You can be proud. No? How can we should be proud of it? Like then, for example, like, why are you so sometimes? Like, what are we supposed to do? Like panicking? Like, yeah, that's one thing I've noticed that's really cool about Indonesia. Uh, people are very chill. Like, I remember the Bali bomb. I came here, and in the media, it seemed like this place was like Terminator land, right? Like it made Bali look like a place where the only thing you would find are people's heads and body parts. But then you come and you know, like, like, there's nobody on the streets. It's very quiet, and people are still smiling, and they're still pretty happy. So I was like, "Wow, that's 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 a remarkable resilience." I think people are just less susceptible to bullshit or to panic. Um, it's it's also contextual. It's like, if everyone around you is panicking, then it seems odd that you're not panicking. Yeah. And then you're, you're you you start panicking too. Um, it's just a it's just condition. All right, let's say coming from Dubai, yeah? Uh, I don't know what the normal fare is. All right, do you know what the normal fare is? This is inbound now. All right, so from Dubai flying to Denpasar is? It's, I don't know, 500 pounds? Let's go to Dala. Because we like the dollar. That doesn't seem very cheap. It's like 800 bucks, I think. Oh, 400 bucks. Does that sound about right, Ara? Right. Okay. Let's take a look at if you travel during peak season, how much would it be? Of course, you wouldn't come back on the same day. That'd be nonsense. All right, here we go. So we have a low season price right now, four hundred fifty-nine, and the peak season price is five hundred fourteen. Okay. Basically, there's no changes in the price to peak season, which means that nobody, the airlines aren't expecting very much sales in peak season. Otherwise, why would they sell a peak season ticket for the same as a. No. Actually, a last minute ticket is the same as a peak season ticket. That shows you, right? They're not raising rates on last minute, and they're not raising rates on peak season. Everything is just like sort of a blanket discount. Okay. So we, we still really don't have any changes on that one. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Such is life, is life, is life, is life. Just think on the bright side. Like Patrick <laughs> says, live in Bali, die in Bali. <laughs> or, or, or the other one. What is like Patrick, yeah. Graphics key, key line. Let's all die together. Okay, I should know we'll die. But, uh. Not today. <laughs> not today. Yeah, that's right. No, not today. It, it's a, it's, a, it's a 14 day incubation time anyway, it's simple. <laughs> Let's just laugh. Let's just like do very dangerous things and laugh throughout the whole thing. Cough on each other and like give like wet. You have like wet kisses to everybody. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Do the reverse. Do the anti-panic. Okay. Anyhow, um, stay safe, everyone. Um, be cool, and we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you on Thursday. Yeah. Next, next take up. Okay. All right. Work on your OKRs to, uh, to once again. Uh, let's raise the employee satisfaction survey. Let's counsel people who need counsel. Uh, let's work on the interns and get the recruits in and uh, keep the activities going, all right? All right. Okay, sir. Yes, yeah, we should probably stop for You Oh, yes, uh, let's, let's, yes, that's correct. I need to adjourn.
So, uh, Mrs. Secretary, which is me, I'm the Secretary. I'm the Secretary of State. Okay, so I will put in the next um, position. The next chair. The next chair will be. It will be all right. All right. Okay, we'll just keep this. Yeah, since today I, I stepped in. All right, you will be the next chair. Mm, okay. And I will be the next secretary. Yes. And yes. Uh, Vito will be the next. Oh, Vito, I guess. Okay, sir. Remain as reporter. And with that, I would like to adjourn the meeting. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Thank you very much, Mita. And in the meantime, may the force be with you. Bye, -bye. See you guys. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.